problems on problems on problems on problems on problems on problems I solve them. I run through the money, the pressure be calling. Left on my blessings, I feel like I'm falling. The birdie is back. Tell me I'm garbage, I'm going through something. That's why I ain't calling. Phone and progression is all that I wanted. The phone and affection, I summon and double. Hey guys, welcome back to another video. Um, today I am actually in line for a shoe and right now it's currently 8 a.m. I came pretty late and there was a lot of people waiting already so I don't know if I can actually cop the shoe but today I'm trying to cop the satin black toes. It's a woman's shoe and I thought that I'll vlog it for you guys since it's something that I like to do and I'm actually waiting in line for it and I'm really bored so yes that's what I'm gonna be doing today and I'll just be sharing you guys my experience um, waiting in line but as of now we have like two and a half hours to go yes I'm dealing with pressures. I know it's a lesson. That's what it was. Dubbing the mixes I'm mixing. I know I've been missing. I needed some personal time. It's currently 9:20, and it's actually raining, so um, I had to open up my umbrella. But yes, I was prepared because I'm not gonna get out of line. Hi. So what happened is that it was originally supposed to be coming out just online but it turned into become a draw so I put in the draw and I'm still waiting in line um, hopefully I can get both but I don't know what's gonna happen the line's still the same comment down below if you guys think I'm gonna get the shoe or if I'm not gonna get the shoe I did put in a raffle so we're gonna see that but yes we'll see the Shake Shack right in front Please, please, please don't stop us. Um, everyone has nice kicks. A little bit closer. Oh my god. Don't cut me off. Please. Envious. Dang. The trio. Yet so far. He in here. Oh man. Oh man. There's still people. So I'm in and it's gonna be a really close call if I get the shoe or not, and I don't know yet, but uh, it's getting me anxiety. I don't think I could do this again. Only for this shoe. Still a line indoors. We're almost there. Please have my side. Don't get caught off. Got it. Wow. Girl did it. Girl did it. Hey. Hey guys, so I just got home and I actually came with no bags. Um, very interesting story. Something very interesting happened, something that I didn't think was gonna happen to me. And yes, I'm pretty sure you guys are just like wondering what the heck is going on. Um, but I am gonna be actually telling that story a couple days later. Um, so just please be on the lookout. Uh, well, it's not gonna be a couple days later for you guys because it's gonna be like right after this clip, but anyways. Yeah. Hey guys, um, I'm back after a couple of days to kind of tell the story. It's going to be like a little story time before I kind of go more deep into it. So first of all, the shoe released August 17th and um, usually in Korea around like a day before, like August 16th, they will put a post on Instagram like the major stores that are going to be kind of selling the shoe and it was really interesting to me because the only place that was actually selling the shoe was Nike Gangnam and um, it was really weird because usually in Korea when there is a release um, around like 10 places or like there's a lot of places that sell the shoe so it was very interesting to me that it was only one place in Korea that was going to be selling this shoe and I was constantly checking the post online even in the morning the day of to see if there was going to be any other stores that were going to be releasing the shoe but 
it happened that it was only going to be Nike Gangnam. So for me, I went to Nike Gangnam at around 7.30 to like 8. And um, it opens at 10.30 a.m. So by the time I went, there was already people who were like camping out there. And I think that I was around 150 from like what the people told me like in front. So for me, I was kind of debating if I should just go home or if I should wait it out. Because I honestly didn't know how many shoes were going to be in the store and how much inventory they had. Um, I did think that I did have a chance because it was the only place in Korea that was selling the shoe. So all the inventory was just going to be in one place. Um, it's the first time that I ever kind of like waited out um, just being in a store in general and just kind of waiting for a release. Um, it was a women's shoe but the ironic thing is, I'm not kidding you, there was only around like four girls and the rest were all guys. So. Man, the struggles. But um, luckily, I did not tell you guys, but I did end up copying the shoe. Um, I did cop my size because towards the end, all the bigger sizes went out first because the guys were getting all the shoes. But at the end, um, they only had like a size 7 and 7.5. And I ended up getting the 7. I'm usually a 6.5 in women's, but I did go half a size up because I don't mind going half a size up, especially for like Jordan. So um, I did not have a problem with that. And um, the crazy thing was... The shoe was actually supposed to be released online, but um, when the 10 a.m. clock hit, it actually turned into a draw. So, so at that time, I was like, oh my god, I, draw. I never want to draw ever. Like, I hope I get the shoe in line. So basically, I ended up copying the shoe, you know, offline and on the stores, and I was waiting for the draw to happen. And I also asked two of my friends to actually put in the draw for me as well because I really wanted this shoe. So I knew that um, maybe I wasn't going to be able to get this offline and I knew that just one draw chance for me wasn't going to be enough. So I asked my friends and they were down to kind of just put in the draw for me. So I had three draws waiting for me at 12. So at 11.30, I ended up copying the shoe and the results for winning the draw was actually gonna be released at 12. So I had a little bit of downtime before I knew if I was gonna be getting any more shoes. And I was actually so hungry that Shake Shack was right next to Nike that I ended up just buying a hamburger at Shake Shack and I was waiting and then the 12 o'clock mark hit and I got a message saying that I got the draw, I won the draw. And it was so crazy because I never won the draw. I never won a draw before ever in my life. I never ever won a draw. I think I put in like five, six draws and this was the first time I got it. I was super stoked. And then a minute later, I got a call from my friend saying that he also got the draw as well. So by then, um, you know, it was 12.05 and I already had three satin black toes, um, which was unbelievable to me because I did not expect that so to me I was kind of drawn back because I only thought about getting one and that was also the only thing that I wanted I didn't want more than one um, so I was just kind of contemplating what I was gonna do with you know the rest of the two shoes because I was gonna wear one um, obviously I was gonna end up reselling it so I was walking out of Shake Shack and I was like oh my god like what am I gonna do with like the two other shoes and I see this guy I know, this is like, it's going into like real juicy story time. I saw this guy and he had around like 25 boxes like around him. And I was like, what is this guy doing? And I'm not kidding you, he had stacks of money in his hand. And I was like, what is going on? Like, what the heck? And um, everybody was just like selling the shoes to them. I want to explain that towards the end, all of the people who ended up copying the shoes that were guys, were going to resell it because it wasn't their size. Um, for me, it was fine because I ended up copying the size in my size. But all the people were ended up reselling and the people who were behind me, I noticed that they were like there trying to like sell their shoes. So I was like, okay, you know what, like might as well just kind of ask how much he's going to sell it for. So I was like, okay, like how much are you reselling it for? Like what, what, what's your like offer? And he gave me an offer and I didn't really know if that was supposed to be like a really good offer or not. So um, at first I was like, all right, you know what, I'll just sell it because um, I just felt like I wanted to just kind of sell one on the spot. And um, I kind of changed my mind while I was about to sell it to him and I was like, you know what, like... 
I don't know. I don't think that I'm gonna sell it. I'm so sorry. Like I changed my mind and he probably thought I was like so annoying because like he thought that I was gonna sell it to him But um, I ended up like bumping up the price um, a little bit and I ended up selling it to him because he really wanted me to sell the shoe And I did sell the shoe at a good price because looking back at it now I actually sold it for a higher price than it's being sold for my size because size 7 right now. It's Let me just see how much it is on the US thing. I from the last time I checked it was around like six thirty or seven hundred dollars. Let me see. Satin black toe. Mm -mm -mm -mm. So my size right now it is going for around six 65 like around there um, That is actually like pretty lower than I actually sold it for which I'm pretty happy uh, I ended up selling the shoe to him um, at a very good price I ended up bumping up the price and I sold it for more than I think I came up around like 750 so um, yeah, that's just what happened and that's selling the shoe and I came home like shoeless Which is really weird because I waited in line for the shoe, but I ended up selling it and I was like wow like Like that's what I would do um, anyways, and then um, a couple of days later I ended up getting the shoe I have the shoe the shoe box right here, and I'm gonna open it and I'm just gonna give you guys like a quick review I did see it in the store, but I only got to hold it for like Around five seconds, I only got to check the sizing and then I ended up coming out because there were so many people waiting in line. So I'm gonna be just kind of opening up the shoe, but that is the story about how I copped um, three satin black toes that day. And I never thought that that would happen to me. So I just opened up the shoe and I understand why people wait in line to buy shoes. Um, it's my first time that I ever actually waited in line. And I did say in the vlog that it was going to be my last time that I ever stood in line. But I think that I might wait in line for the Obsidian. Um, I don't know yet. But yes, there are so many releases going on. There's going to be the Bread 1s, the Bread 11s, the Mushrooms, the Obsidian. So I am just really trying my best to you know, get a hold on it and, you know, spend my money wisely. Freaking nay! I hate it when this happens. I hate it when it comes in the mail and then, like, your box is totally freaking ruined. That just kind of ruined my mood. Alright. So, I have a shoe right now. So this is how the shoe looks like, a little bit of a close-up. The only thing that is satin about the shoe is the back part. And I know that for those of you guys who know, the shattered backboard, the satin shattered backboard, it actually has a lot more satin. There's satin on here and also on the back. But for this shoe, there's only satin on here and also the inside, the sock liner. But also another thing that is very interesting, this is leather. And um, the satin shattered backboard was actually embroidered in and another thing that is actually different as well is that this is going to be like a metal or like a plastic material. I would say it's closer to like metal and um, on the satin shattered backboard it was embroidered. So I would say that it is a lot different than the previous like satin Air Jordan 1s that was coming out. I personally really, really, really do like the shoe and just how it looks in person. It is actually my first um, pair of Jordan 1s and I was super excited to be copying the shoe. Um, I'm super excited to be copying like the Bread 1s and then also the Chicago's that are be coming out next year. But oh god, I am just so excited to wear the shoe. And I do think that I'm going to be holding on to the other shoe. Um, I don't think I'm going to resell it like right now because I do kind of want to just hold the shoe and wait it out. Um, because for those of you guys who know, like the satin shattered blackboards have been rising up like as time goes by. So, I mean, that's just for me. Like my size might not even kind of rise up because I feel like the demand for like the bigger sizes are going to be more expensive but I just do want to wait it out I mean I'm not in a rush to sell the shoe so for those of you guys who are wondering what I'm going to do with the other shoe I'm not going to sell it and 
yes, I'm gonna be just wearing the shoe. Um, yeah, I'm gonna lace it up and then I'll do like an on feet for you guys. I'm sipping 15, kept a weapon on me. Blow make bitches, I'm my my business. Stack chicken like what it's gon' be. Crew in the cut, A hey, you want us for run when I tell a bit peace. Love is love. Love is love. I need Bindo, bindo with the switch again. Boy, deliver like he heffin' it. Call with digits, give him estimates. Summer sauce for my Benjamins. I got, I got what you need, baby. Start the Chevy, make a scene, baby. LA BB, been the team, baby. Bim, bim, pop a word to G, baby. Look, lab till I'm finished. Had a handful of lemons through the hand. Got a bag, now the hands in the business. For my hand, it's a ticket. Talking Maza for the biggest. That's a comma and a comma and a comma. Gotta get it. I've been playing with the minutes that they been should've gave. And I'm flipping every digit that they been should've paid. Had to find a way to get it. No, this isn't what you made. If I ever wanna dip, then I'm brink with the blade. And I'm brinking a blink on the brink of some dumb shit. Watch how I move, cause I know the brink's coming. Watch for the blues.